There is a muddy mess in Finleyville and elsewhere this weekend. Many have a nasty cleanup ahead of them after floodwaters hit our area once again. Good evening to you. I'm Paul Martino. Heavy rain came down for hours last night and into the early morning hours, causing many problems and prompting some unusual rescues. Bob Allen reports from Washington County. Peters Creek runs behind Shireen and Steve Gorski's house in Finleyville. This morning, the creek left two surprises, a lost cow and five feet of water in their basement. We looked outside and the, co the cow was floating in the water. Um, we tied a rope around her and was pulling at her and trying to get her onto Up safety on ground. More than a few hands were needed to load the 17-year-old blind cow into a trailer. The animal came from Lennox Greenhouse after several feet of fast-moving currents took down fences and carried the cow and her two calves, who were later rescued. That was only the beginning of the damage to the Lennox family property. My uncle owns the house here. His basement's all flooded out. It's full all the way up to the ceiling, covered in mud. We have an office that everything was damaged. High water from Peters Creek literally wiped out 15,000 chrysanthemums and hibiscus flowers growing in this field. Every year, the plants are sold to local Giant Eagle stores. They're all destroyed. There's no recovering them. I mean, other than picking up the pots and cleaning up the damage. Even now, I'm told the waters here at Peters Creek are four or five feet higher than normal. Last night, water was reportedly coming over the bridge and was at least waist deep where I'm standing. Ed Lewicki and neighbor Kim Campbell live in apartments behind Bob's Tavern. He got out, but she had to be rescued by boat. I come out there, water started coming in the front door. I said, well, it's time to go. I couldn't believe how bad it got out here. I'd never seen anything like that. Mm -hmm. Wow. While the cleanup continues, everyone agrees it's the worst flooding they've ever seen in Finleyville. Bob Allen, KDKA, TV News.